Here at Hinch, Friday morning training. Got the boys in ahead of tomorrow, Corinthian casuals at home. What's the atmosphere like within the boys, uh, within the camp? Yeah, I mean, it'd be very easy for them to sort of um, down tools and be despondent and stuff like that, but they're very much still very upbeat. Um, like I say, it's, it's Friday in that gap between Christmas and uh, the new year, and we've got the turnout that we've got for a nine o'clock start on a Friday morning is, is excellent. So um, they're still positive, you know, and they should be. They've played well in the last two games. Performance has been good. Just those moments, key moments that have just not gone our way. Uh, whether it's shots that have been deflected and gone wide or, you know, looking back on the first goal, it's a definite foul on our goalkeeper. Gary's level with his arm and he's made contact with him before Clayton's got near the ball. And another day the ref gives that as a free kick and it's a, it's a big moment in the game. But, you know, when you're on a bad run, they don't seem to go for you. And you know, we just got to keep believing in what we're doing. And, um, you know, the, the lads have got belief in the way we play and the way we work. Just what you do, your analysis session in there. Looking back at the game, is there any other things that you noticed looking back at the tape that you didn't notice on, uh, on game day? Um, yeah, I, I thought... You know, our game plan, we got in a couple of times with those longer sort of diagonals that we wanted to work on first half. Um, you know, so that worked well for us. Be able to mix up our game and not just play in front of teams is important. Um, so, yeah, to, to, to analyse that and see that, uh, that's that side of our game. Um, but then it's just the moments, whenever we sort of conceding goals at the moment, we seem to have a lot of players back to be able to cope and deal with it. It's not a case that we're left three versus two against us. Just we get players back and we have six versus threes or almost and you know, um we recognise the night and go, you know, we've got to, we've got to be better and start keeping more clean shoots. There was some frustration around the ground at Burgess Hill, um, a lot of long ball shouts. Yeah. How important do you think it is to be unpredictable and be able to mix the game up, whether it's playing, you know, the Worthing way where we'd like to get it down and play, yeah. but then having to, you know, sometimes the pitch determines the way that you play yeah. and, and mix it up with that long ball. How important is that to be I, unpredictable? I, I just feel like as a defender, um, if all the game's in front of you and there's got a team coming to press and no balls go in behind, then it makes the game very easy. Um, as soon as we've done that first half and put a couple of balls in behind, and we did, they're passes, they're passes to players. They're not just getting it in the back and smashing it forward. You know, the one we can see the second goal, Clayton's played it forward, but we're three versus three. So for me, that's a great decision to do that. You know, I don't really, I, the results I get, you know, we've, we've got to start picking up results for a club of our stature. But, you know, if performances, and the way we're trying to play is in question, then I've got to, you know, back, back the players and back the way we work on that one because, you know, I think we are football inside. Tomorrow, inviting Corinthian casuals down to Woodside. They've only taken three points from the last five games, so a great opportunity to get back to winning ways, possibly. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I mean, they'll be looking the same like they'll be coming here in our home form and going, we can go there and get something, which could play in our favour. Teams might come at us a little bit and leave some spaces, whereas, you know, early on in the season, they were sitting back and you know, happy to get a point. Um, it might help us if they come at us a little bit and uh, we can we can find those lines and, and be more of a threat. But, yeah, we're looking forward to it. Like I say, we're, our performances in the last two games have, in the main, been been very good, very pleasing. We've conceded too many goals. Um, you know, two a game is, is way too many. Because then you're having to score three. Um, we're not scoring enough. We've conceded too many. But the bits in between... Really pleased with it. On an injury front, it looked like Ollie Pierce pulled up the other day. Is there any more uh, information on him? He just him? took a kick on the calf. Um, I think, you know, probably a bit too hasty to bring him off, but, um, you know, he's been struggling with his ankle. He's not been quite a fall. He's been strapping his ankle up because he was desperate to get out there and play. Uh, and then he got a whack on his calf and he was hobbling for a bit, in my opinion. Um, but it might have been one of them that eased off over time. But, you know, Cullen Keeley's come on and, and done great, real threat and worked hard. And um, on another day, could have got a couple of goals himself. So, got good, good options there. And if someone is struggling with a car problem or an ankle problem, then, we, you know, we've got to look to make changes and make sure that we're, um, you know, a threat going that way. Cheers, Cheers. Nice one.